Inch and a go go, baby. What's good, guys? Gilku here. And regardless of everyone's uh, disdain, if you will, about Bridget, whether or not you believe that he is a he or she is a she, does not matter to me. Bridget is by far the most fun character I've had the experience of playing in Guilty Gear Strive since the launch of the game. And not only is she the most fun, but high key, I think she might be the solution to Guilty Gear Strive. Now, as you're watching the B roll behind me, I i'm just gonna let it play right i really just want to talk to you guys about bridget because after playing bridget for a little bit after seeing a lot of people play bridget of course these are going to be some more in-depth first impressions about the character but it feels like it's not hard to tell when a character is going to be strong or bad anymore when it comes to strive i'm not saying that bridget is you know the end-all be-all and, and she's the best character in the game and nobody's gonna beat her and blah 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 right all i'm saying is Bridget has the key essential tools for me personally to make her, uh, in my opinion, like I said, the solution to strive. But you're asking yourself, what, why, why do we need a solution to strive, right? What, what's the problem? Let your boy tell you the problem, all right? The problem with strive for a lot of veteran players, uh, I'm 50 50, right? I'll just throw that out there for a little backstory. I played a lot of Exert. I did not play a lot of plus R in a competitive manner, but I did play it casually. But Exert is one that I definitely did play competitively, period. I, I don't really do, like, do you guys want me to run you through my characters that I played? Freaking uh, Ram, and then that turned into, into Elfell, and then I stuck with Elfell for a long ass time, then Biken released, so I played Biken. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what y'all want from me, but I am a filthy Elfell slash Biken player from Exert. Now, in Strive's case, a lot of veteran players feel that there is no guilty gear about the game they feel like they're missing the complexity and that doesn't mean that they're missing the hard as fuck execution right that, that's not what they mean when most of them say the complexity the thing about guilty gear is that it was such a, uh, a diverse slash unique type of game where there was a lot of player diversity or player uniqueness about the game and i, I don't mean like you know you can express yourself with different combos which that that is there that's facts i'm not gonna lie about that but it was finding an answer to a solution wasn't one clear cut way. Sure, some things in Strive don't have one clear cut way, but it does feel like once we figure something out in Strive, it kind of works for everybody or most characters can do something similar, if not the exact same thing. Their mix up is pretty much the same. The way the characters are played is pretty much the same. And it's very rare that we get a different type of this person plays blank character like blank. We can take Lord Knight, for example, who is probably the only notable Milia player anymore. Most Milia players dropped the character. Even the Twitch streamers who were playing Milia and were really good at the mix-ups dropped the character. But that does make my point valid in the sense that Milia's mix-ups are kind of one-dimensional. That doesn't mean that I'm blocking everything from Milia, but it does mean that most of Milia's mix-ups are relatively the same. Once you learn the most optimal way to do it, you just keep doing it. And that goes to say for a lot of other characters, we'll use Ram as another example. Ram doesn't really have mix-up, Ram just beats the shit out of you. But once Ram learns how to beat the shit out of you, they just be they keep beating the shit out of you the same exact way. And so figuring out how to stop the main route of getting the shit beat out of you helps you in the long run versus most Ram players. Now we have the anomalies where uh, Leo, for instance, Leo is kind of, he, he's a gorilla. Sure, I know how to block against Leo and I know what Leo wants to do, but stopping Leo from doing what he wants to do is the problem. Biken, I main Biken. So there is uh, this, this, this fallacy, if you will, about Biken and that she's just unga bunga. She's bullshit and she's very random. And I do agree. Most Biken players are actually really random. I don't know why you guys are just mashing 2HS and, and just, just doing it. Not even to, to like, y'all don't even do it the whiff punish. I'll just be throwing it out there, bro. Y'all just, y'all throw out 2HS just, just to do it. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't understand, but Hey, if it gets the dub, it gets the dub, but that just kind of goes into what we're saying here is that it's random. There is nothing really calculated behind it. Sometimes it's calculated and sometimes you can convert off of it. I, I don't want to say that about Kai because Kai does take some thinking to it, right? I've never really played a Kai player and they're just doing something. Now their strings are the same, right? The combo routes they go, the corner routes they do. Everyone's doing dragon install now after flash started the dragon install wave. So 
that stuff is the same when it comes to Kai, but how Kai like plays the neutral, that's a little bit different. That just comes down to Kai. Last in my example is probably Soul. Soul is Soul. That's really the easiest way to put it. If anybody knows completely different souls that play completely different than the other soul, that's completely, completely, completely different than another soul, please let me know in the comments down below. I don't want to play soul. I just want to see different soul plays. But from what I've seen so far throughout the entire year of playing Strive, all souls play the same. Relatively speaking, of course. One player might be better than the other, one might be worse, but that's not really my point. Getting into the meat of it, finally, Bridget feels like the answer to all of that. I have yet to see any one Bridget player play the exact same. And someone is going to try and test what I'm saying, and they're going to say, well, she's brand new. She just came out. No one knows what they're doing, and that's actually not true. For once, they have given us a legacy character that has a lot of legacy feeling to her, to them, right? Bridget feels like Bridget from Plus R a little bit. There are some things that are missing, but for the most part, if you were familiar with Bridget and you played Bridget in Plus R, she is just coming naturally to you. A lot of mix-ups, a lot of 50-50s, a lot of the things that she's doing is just coming natural to you. The yo-yo setups, uh, uh, playing off the yo-yo, the timing of the yo-yo, when it's gonna trigger, knowing what you can and can't do. The only different things right now are like counter hit combos, right? Your crush counters are, or well, we don't have that because that's not Street Fighter, but your, your, uh, the big counter, I'm just gonna call it a crush counter, the big counter hit combos, right? Where you slow down time. Those are a little bit different, but you get my point is that Bridget is different. And I, I don't know, maybe you guys in the comments down below, maybe y'all have played the same Bridget over and over. Maybe you've played a Bridget and then the second Bridget after that was the exact same Bridget. I don't know. I have yet to come across the same type of Bridget player. They, they just, none of the Bridgets play the same. She uses yo-yo differently or her approach is different. Her mix-up game is different. She doesn't use 50-50s. This one does use 50-50s. This one uses 50-50s, but they always go for low. This one uses 50-50s, but they go for double highs. Like there's so much about Bridget that I fucking love when it comes to Strive right now. And Bridget just feels right. Even with the damage not being super high and I don't want it to be super high. It just feels good. Playing Bridget in Strive feels good. I've gotten my ass beat a hundred times with Bridget, but it still feels good to learn. Oh shit, I didn't know I could do that. Yo, I didn't know that I could do yo-yo in the ball and, and then cancel ball into another ball. Like there's so much about Bridget that I'm like, damn, my brain has to be turned on at all times. And that is a big thing and probably the short way for me to sum up this entire video that a lot of the veteran players seem to be missing in stride. The brain doesn't have to be on for a lot of these characters. There's very few characters in the game where you constantly have to be thinking about everything, your opponent, your defense, your approach, how they're gonna approach you, what you're gonna do when you get the hit, how do you get the hit, the approach into how to get that hit that you wanna start. When you do get the hit, which combo are you going for? Oh shit, you got a counter hit? Rethink the process. I gotta do it on the fly because a lot of Bridget's combos don't have a lot of time to do so. Now, thankfully, Bridget's slashes are multi-hit. So that gives you like that split second to re-register what it is that you were gonna do, what combo you wanna go for. But if you get a counter hit close slash, you're like, damn, I, I don't think I was ready. Just do basic B and B and you miss out on so much damage even now i'm looking through twitter while i'm talking to you guys about this and say gems clip is up or rather it's it's from way south dave he re-optimized say gems combo for the, the counter hit close slash route and it's so cool because it does 50 percent into a wall break and i'm like yo this is hot i i i vibe with this big time and that's the character I don't know, dude, like maybe this is just like a super high right now, but I feel like it's not a super high. I don't think that the character has major losing matchups right now. And that's a whole different video that I'll talk about way after I feel very comfortable with Bridget. But right now, Bridget being the most fun for me, Bridget has my brain turned on all the time. It feels like I'm playing Exert all over again. It's like an old Guilty Gear, right? I have to constantly be thinking about what's going on and it just she's constantly moving i'm constantly moving it's crazy but that's it 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, because to be honest, I well, I told you everything. <laughs> If you agree or disagree, let me know. If you feel the same way about Bridget, let me know. And of course, if you have differing opinions about uh, character expression or diversity, if you will, on who's playing who differently, then by all means, let me know. I would love to see it because I just like watching good matches. Anyway, I can't say my usual outro because it's inappropriate for YouTube. So like, comment if you want to, subscribe if you choose to do so and then you enjoy the content that I bring to this channel. And uh, actually, you know what? No, don't comment if you want to. I demand that you comment maybe that'll get somebody to comment like attack whatever anyway smell you later